Today, I've been tasked with a little mission. It is my daughter's preschool party tomorrow, and I have been tasked to get the ingredients for the little tiny triangle sandwiches for the group. Luckily, there's nothing more that I like to do on a Thursday than go around Sainsbury's and check out their cheese board section. But of course, with all of this variety, I start to overthink the situation. I start panicking. Do they want red Leicester? Do they want some white stuff? Are they going to be bothered about what it is? Should it be grated, non-grated, mozzarella? What should I do? Cheap stuff, expensive stuff. I just don't know. What about a little bit of this or some barber cheese? But we just... We, <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Ooh, ooh, that'll do. Going off track, I almost thought I'm gonna get him some booja booja chocolate, but 595. No, 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 no. We find ourselves in the deep trenches of the bread section. We've got rolls, crumpets, bread. Ooh, so much to choose from. Do we go for the King's Mill? Do we go for the Warburton's? Give it a little squeeze, give it a little freshness test. Go for the oh, ah, cheap stuff, yes, go for the cheap stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. With our mission coming to a close, we need to check out some gift cards now, but we didn't really know what to get. I was thinking, like, should the kids like to play a little bit of Xbox, a little bit of Roblox? What do we get them? So we decided, actually, that probably the best thing to do is to get an Amazon gift card. That way, the preschool teachers can actually buy some stuff for the kids at preschool. Get a little bit of use out of it. I know they probably might enjoy a little bit of chocolate or whatever. Put the Roblox down! They're not going to play Roblox. All Fortnite, no V-Bucks, get the Amazon gift card card well done good choice the most grown-up choice i am feeling incredibly smug with myself right now as we head into the self-service checkouts to go and do their job for them without the pay they want us to do the work but it's not like they trust us is it always keeping a watchful eye you little <laughs> Now, of course, the thing is, how much do you put on a gift card to spend on kids on Amazon? I think one pound. Plenty. No, 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 no. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's do 30 quids. Plenty. Come on. Don't be greedy. We've got the bread. We've got the cheese. We've got the gift card. Now the kids can have triangle sandwiches and whatever else the teachers decide to buy from Amazon. Feeling very accomplished as we leave the battle zone with the area secured. Back to the battle tank with goods in hand as we complete our mission. Off to go and report to my superior, Emma. With the care package dropped off, it's now time to go and start a brand spanking new mission because this job never ends. We are warriors at war. Turn on the light, get the bunker ready, head on in and... Realisation kicks in, no cling film, no thank you card! Ah! Might as well remind myself that I'm a king so we can actually cross one more thing off the list. Oh, God. Well, that was an eventful start to the day, to say the very least. But now we need to go and pick some freaking orders. A part of me was thinking maybe I could like black wrap the sandwiches, but it's a bit dusty. Otherwise, trust me, I would. Let's start off with Vinted first. For £15, we sold the Reading Puma top. So it's from 2010, I think. Something like that. I can't actually remember, to be honest with you. But it owes me £5. I sold it for £15 on Vinted. That's all them Reading shirts gone now. So I sold... No, it's not. It's one left. I sold one of the 2001 ones for £35. I sold the 1999 for £75. I've sold the Puma one there for £15. And I've got one left that's listed for forty nine ninety nine. So we're doing all right. We spent five pound each on them. Five pound. Well, actually, no. We spent five pound on the two two thousand and ones and that one, and three pound on the nineteen ninety nine. For three pounds fifty now is the free people scarf. I bought it for a pound. Yes, I was buying it at the beginning of the summer, but I still bought it because I thought I was going to do better on it. It stuck around for ages. Sold it for three pounds fifty in what we are calling apparently the height of summer. And for £25 now, £7 paid for this Lego chess set. Sold on Vinted to Nick. Nick, massively appreciate you, mate. I've just been checking it out, but Nick actually has a website called Nick Picks Bricks. Can't believe I said that first try. Get up there. If there's anything you need Lego-wise, he's going to have it. I've just been checking out the site. Quite comprehensive. Most of it is retired, classic, and hard-to-find stuff, so that's where you want to be. Get away from Bricklink Store. I'll get that out shortly to you, Nick. Massively appreciate you, bro. On eBay now for 13 pounds and one penny is this Dunlop ping pong paddle thing. You know what I mean? Table tennis, Forrest Gump. <laughs> 13 pounds and a penny. Paid one pounds 50, I think. For eight pounds 50 all in, we are getting through those remote controls. Now the box of them are listed about 20 the other day. Eight pounds 50 LG remote control. Nice bread and butter sale. And for £11.69, I know exactly who this has gone to now. This has gone to Mr. Luke Tucker. Massively appreciate you, mate. Big South Park fan. He's the chap that brought the Kyle money pot off me. Was it Kyle? Or Stan? 
can't remember. But he's picked this up. He hasn't made, he hasn't sent me a message. I just recognise his username. So Luke, massively appreciate you, bro. On its way to you shortly. And that is all the sales. So as I mentioned, it is Ada's last day of preschool today. Tomorrow she has a party, you know, like a celebration thing. And then on Monday they have a graduation. Oh, it's going to be so cute. She's growing up. She goes into primary school next. Flies. She's growing up, she goes into primary school in September. I've said this before, but I can't get sad about my children growing up. It's such an achievement. The fact that we are keeping them alive, keeping them well enough to progress through the system. Yes, it's the system. Would I homeschool if I could? Yes. Anyway, let's not get into that. I'm keeping her alive enough to actually keep moving up and moving forward and progress in life. And that's going to be my job for the rest of my life now. I can't say I've actually fully settled into the idea of it yet. I still find it struggle. I still find frustrations when I realise that I am the caregiver. I am the responsible person. As long as Emma, of course. I'm just speaking for myself. But I have these responsibilities now for the rest of my life. It's not just until they're 18. Your kids are there for life. There's nothing you can do about that. I'm just really not looking forward to the dating part of her life. Because, I don't know. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to describe the feeling that I get when I think about that. I'm going to bad boys it. If you know, you know. Some of you by now might have seen my recent video regarding the dumbing down of GSP. Yes, there are a few things that I missed out, which the chat was quite kind enough to tell me. But I was keeping it simple, just enough for somebody who's never used it before, didn't even know how to activate it, can just go in and turn it on. Every single Q&A, every single answer to anyone's questions are already on the eBay app. They are there for you. So I could have spent a whole lot of time in depth diving straight in and giving you every single answer, but that would be a 30, 40 minute long video and a lot of work. And you can just go and do the work. It's important for you to do the research, then you can actually learn the practices. But I just gave you an in. That was all I was doing. But anyway, it has been a very long time since we've done a giveaway, so it's time for another one. And for some reason, these little Lego packs seem to do very, very well. People always want them and they always enter. Although the last one has gone unclaimed so far, so I might be rerunning that one again soon. As mentioned before, I'm not going to reach out to you if you win. You've got to come and tell me. And trust me, you little scammers, I already know your fake profiles. You can't get past me. I've got protocols in place. The amount of times you get messages after running a competition saying, Oh my God, my name is blah, blah, blah. I've won the competition. And the profile, well, I'm not going to tell you how I know your profiles are fake, but I know. So in today's competition, it is the chance to win this Lego Chima set 30251 if you want to go and check it out. For your chance to enter, all you've got to do is comment down below. I've had a look on the website and you can just do any comment goes. So all you've got to do is comment down below. You can write whatever you like. As always, nice comments, horrible comments. You can be truthful, you can be false. Write whatever you like. You guys that love the videos can leave some nice comments and you guys that hate the videos but still continue to watch and comment, you can also comment too. Because if you win, I'll have your address there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and I will see you on the next one. I'll just spat everywhere then. Bye.